Hi guys, here's the third and prayerfully final video um, about um, the dream, the interpretation and words from the Lord. So here's what the father spoke after the interpretation of the dream. He said, my daughter, know this, much is about to change, much more on the horizon. They seek to take over. You will see concentration camps and homeland security become their worst enemy. But they who put their trust in the Lord shall live safely and in my peace. You will avert the strategies of the enemy and no harm shall be upon thee. This is why it is imperative for men to come to me in this hour. I am bringing a storm and the purpose of it is to turn my children back to me. There isn't a whole lot of time. Many are still in the hands of the stranger, the hireling, and the wolves in sheep's clothing, so I need to bring them out and bring them into safety. I need to do this now. So afterwards, I asked the father, you know, what should I do? You know, if there were any instructions for me um, specifically. But I'm going to share what he said because I think it's relevant to all of us, to all, you know, who are watching and who are aware. He said, be my guiding light to the lost. Speak my words. My words give life. I am here. I am with you. You're not alone. I'm sorry it must be this way, but my children are stiff-necked and have gone so far astray. It has come. It must come. Be strong now, my little one. I have covered you, but much will happen. Happen soon. Soon. Sooner than you think soon. It must come, for it is written. So saints, you know, that's the dream, the interpretation and words for the Lord, from the Lord. And the thing that, you know, stood out in my mind the entire time and is still with me is Psalm 91. And it's time to really live the words of the Father, not just know them, not just read over them, but to really read them, absorb them, apply them to our hearts that we might live in peace and safety in the times ahead. So I implore you to please read Psalm 91. One of my favorite also is Psalm 27. Um, verse 5 that says, For in the time of trouble he shall hide me. Um, in the secret of his sanctuary he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Um, I don't know, you know, how else to, you know, further employ that we, we need to really be diligent in this hour. We need to set aside personal agendas and that our priority should really be the things of God. We, um... We need to be in the Word of God. We need to study the Word of God. Even as His messengers, we need to be in the Word so that we we can test the spirits and know if these things are coming from the Father because we are we know His Word and it's written upon our hearts. Um, the things that lie ahead, you know, they, they may be frightening and I'm sure that they will be to some, but we're not to be afraid. I'm going to open comments um, with moderation, and I'm going to ask you, saints, to please be responsible. But if there's anything that you can share to shed light upon this, um, please do so. I'm going to pray over every um, response just to ensure that, you know, things aren't going out that, you know, that, that don't edify and that don't add value to where we are now. Because I, we don't know who's watching and who's paying attention, and we do not want to send the wrong message. Um, I just also, you know, really want to say that, um, you know, now is the time for us. It's, it's time to buckle up. It's time to really, it's time to really batten down the hatches. Um, one of the things the Lord also shared with me um, this morning in prayer, and I think it was for me, but I'll share it. Just, in, just so that you will go to the Father and that you will seek his instruction regarding you. And he told me to go and, you know, make sure that I have what I need for over the next, for the next, that will last me for the next three days. Now, I'm not saying that he said something's going to happen. That's the instruction that he gave to me. Please pray and ask for your own personal instruction. Each one of us need to hear the voice of the Lord concerning ourselves. Um, it reminds me of Matthew 4 and 4 that says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And it's the words that he speaks by the Ruach that gives us instruction for our own personal lives. And it will never contradict the words that he's written in his word. So I just pray, saints, that the blood of Jesus be upon you and your house, and that your protection and covering would be in him, and that we would hide ourselves in him. And, and that we would be hearing and that we would be doers of the instructions that, instructions that he would give to us in this hour that may protect us and others. Be mindful of our brothers, our sisters. Be mindful of the lost. Pray diligently. 
pray without ceasing and seek him in everything. Um, may these words, you know, bring you comfort, but also maybe confirmation and lead you and direct you back to the Father for your own personal instruction. God bless you all. Amen.